All right, this is so freaking cool. What's happening here is the wind is interacting with this guy's guitar strings on an angle such that it seems to vibrate on its own. Let's break down the science of why this is so goddamn beautiful and see if we can replicate it. a guitar string, it vibrates, sending the air molecules around it into vibrational motion. There's a one-to-one -one relationship between the vibration frequency of the air molecules and the string. That'll be important in a second. The back and forth vibration of those air molecules sends an outward traveling pressure wave consisting of compressions and rarefractions. These are condensed areas of high pressure and low pressure. Together, these make up a sound wave. Now, the sound wave that the string produces by itself isn't very loud. This is where that one-to-one -one relationship comes in. The strings, by way of the termination points on the bridge and nut, are connected to the body of the guitar, which causes the front and back soundboard to vibrate at the same frequency as the string, which produces a loud, audible sound. Now, an important part of any sound is a characteristic known as a tack. This is the initial expression of a sound. When Jaden plucks a string, this is an immediate attack. When the wind is having a go at it, the attack is slow and gradual. The wind also sustains the note way longer than you'd expect out of a typical guitar. This gives the sound a pad-like quality, more akin to instruments like the violin or the cello or, God forbid, the viola. The wind isn't moving at high enough speeds to cause an immediate attack on the strings. If it was, young Jaden would probably be dead. Instead, he plucks the string. It vibrates. The wind continues to agitate the string, pulling on it consistently, causing oscillation. It's kind of like a singing bowl. You have your initial attack, which will start to decay unless you exert a constant force on the system, causing resonance. He's also in an open tuning of F, A, C, G, C, E, which on a guitar is stacked like this. This outlines an F major nine chord, which definitely hits you in the feels. Now real quick, I promised I'd try and replicate this, but there ain't no way I'm climbing up a mountain on the off chance I hit the right breeze. So I'm cheating a little bit and I have this air compressor thing. I also don't have a guitar, so this bass will have to do. 